Morning America. We are in Jacksonville, Florida. We're just west of just west of Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, probably about 20 miles, I say, something like that. Um, we're at Hale Trader. Uh, I love this place. Uh, it's a brand new facility. It's put up a year or two ago. Um, brand new building, all this big parking lot. When you come in here, you pull in the gate or the, in the drive. They got all this parking out here for us. So when, when we come in in the middle of the night, like I did last night. I got a place to park instead of out on the street somewhere or down the road at some truck stop. This is really nice. I, I really like this place. But uh, there's the gate. That's what they actually open up in the morning and they're all in there ready to go. I thought I'd do this real quick review of this trader, show you what it's all about. I've done reviews on this before, so if you've seen this already before, uh, uh, just bear with me. But for people that are new to the channel, they haven't seen one of these. It's what they call a walking floor. Um, a walking floor uh, is a self unloading trailer. You don't have to have, kind of like a dump truck. A dump truck lifts up and everything just slides out the back. This doesn't lift up. It has a floor that walks. I'll explain that. Um, what they're for are, uh, it's for trash or uh, garbage trucks or any kind of bulk. Uh, this one will probably go to a paper mill, I'm gonna guess. Uh, there's a lot of paper mills down here in this area. Um, it'll haul chips, you know, wood chips and stuff like that. Uh, they'll have a sawmill where they saw up lumber and all the wood chips and stuff like that has to go down to a paper mill and be turned into a paper. Well, that's what they'll use this for. Uh, they might use it for, uh, what's that stuff they put around the bottom of trees? <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, I'll write it down right here. <laughs> um, um, but anyway, they... <laughs> They have a back door, a gate, an expanded metal back back doors, and uh, they got a tarp that rolls across the top, kind of like a grain trailer or something. And the door is open just like a, a dry van or a reefer, uh, kind of a little bit heavier duty than uh, than those. But they swing open like this. They have got a ladder on the outside, as you can see. Um, here's the floor, and here's the uh, here's the magic of these traders. Um, let's let's start from this side. We got one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. You get the idea all the way down. There's three sets of these. All right, this one and this one are number one, and this one's a one, and this one's a one. What they do is these three will all, uh, these, these will all move together. Okay, those the ones will all move, then the twos will all move, then the threes will all move. Then after uh, they've moved, uh, they've slid about, oh, not quite a foot, about 10 inches probably. Then all of them, one, twos, and threes, all move together. And when they move, it's the other way around, I'm sorry. They all three will move backwards, okay? And that brings the product, the whole product in here will slide back about 10 inches. Then number one, 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 and one, they move forward. And there's enough friction on two and three to, to keep the product from sliding, from moving. So one and one, th those will slide forward 10 inches. Then number twos, they'll slide forward in their turn. Then number threes will slide forward in their turn. Once all three sets are forward, everything moves back again and the product moves again. It's just, it's like, a, uh, I uh, try to think how to, how to explain this other than what I just did. <laughs> But anyway, that's how everything gets unloaded here. Well, what causes those to move? Well, it's hydraulics. So way back up in the front of the trailer, uh, give me time to get up here. You have a, a, a pump on your tractor uh, off of the PTO. You, you have a transmission that has a PTO shaft and it would run a pump and that pump would come back and there'd be a little oil reservoir sitting back here somewhere. And then there'd be another hose. These are air hoses, air hoses and electric hoses for or, or electric line for lights. That all traders have those, but you see there's a hydraulic hoses over here, hydraulic, hydraulic fittings. Those hoses would fit into those fittings. That gives you hydraulic pressure back here. So then as you come back to the back, most of the way back to the back of the trader back here, you'd have these levers. Well, this lever turns it on and off. It turns the pump on and off, you know, you know, the system on. And this one, by rotating forward or backwards, depends on which way they move. Are, are you? Are you putting product in and sliding it to the front or are you putting the product in and sliding it to the back? It, it reverses the uh, system, the, the process. Why would you want to reverse the process? Why would you, you always want to unload these, right? You, you pour stuff into the top and, and then unload them this way. Well, let's say you get somewhere and let's say you don't use it for what I was talking about. 
well, let's say you use it for some other purpose and you want a backhaul and the backhaul is a palleted load you have pallets you can have a forklift down here on the ground you can slide all three of these to the back and have a forklift come up and set a pallet on here and then set another pallet over here okay and then do that process and the pallets would move forward once they get moved forward about four four feet put a couple more pallets on move everything forward four feet put a couple more paths and you can actually load the trailer this way so you, uh, the first time I ever saw one of these trailers was back in the uh, late 90s, I guess. And I was at a, uh, a dock in Kansas City loading dog food. And uh, they were running a forklift right up inside my truck. It's a dry van. And this guy didn't want the forklift riding on these things, you know, afraid they would damage him or something. So he'd just have the forklift driver from the dock sit two pallets on the back and he'd slide them forward, put two more, and he just he loaded the truck that way. And I thought, what in the world is that called? And he said it's called a walking floor. I'll be darned. So it's a it's a unique kind of setup, uh, kind of system. And uh, if you need it, it works. It, it's a it's something that uh, it's something that ew, solves a problem for a particular kind. Of, ah, come on, <laughs> about dropped you there. <laughs> it's a it's a system that will solve a particular kind of problem. If you got a kind of load and you're going somewhere, they don't, they don't, you don't want uh, uh, bulldozer uh, bobcats and stuff like that going inside un unloading the trailer. Or they just don't have anything like that. You can load unload this just about any, well, anywhere. So uh, you can unload dirt, sand, rocks. I don't know if you put rock in here, but, but you get the idea. So that's what these trailers are made of. Uh, they ride rougher than hell. <laughs> They're spring ride, there's no air ride back here. so it beats you to death on a rough road so uh, when you got loads on there they rode fairly smooth but empty it that gets the bucking which makes the trailer kind of slap 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 which makes your suspension work harder in the front up there you're just shaking all over the place so it's uh it is what it is but um all right well, i gotta take it in here and get it delivered actually there's another one right here all right right there uh oh i can't see you Right here, that trailer right there, that's another one just like mine. So I'll probably park it right beside that. But I gotta go in there and tell them, tell them I'm here and they'll sign a paperwork and come out and look at it. Tell me where to park it and uh, we'll go find another load. I would assume, I don't know this, I haven't called dispatch yet, it's still early. But uh, I would assume I'm bringing it up to uh, Statesboro, Georgia. Pick up a reefer trader, a Great Dane reefer trader. And who knows where that'll be going. Let's hope it's not going into snow. So, uh, so anyway, let's get at it. Let's go over and get delivered.